My name is Chris Porter, and I'm a physical therapist. A physical therapist is a specialist in human movement, and if you have pain during movement, a physical therapist can help to assess why that might be occurring and how we can intervene to actually improve your ability to move with less pain and, and improve your levels of physical activity with things such as walking. The Department of Health and Human Services actually recommends that you participate in moderate levels of physical activity such as walking for about 150 minutes per week. A, a pedometer is a great tool to use for those people who really want to track their physical activity levels throughout the day. And it can give you an idea on how many steps you're taking in a day and, and actually how much distance you're traveling in an average day from the time that you wake up to the time that you go to sleep. Physical activity such as walking can prevent lots of chronic conditions such as cardiovascular disease and stroke. It can also improve things like energy level, decrease stress, and actually improve the quality of your sleep. Several conditions that may limit your ability to walk, such as arthritis of your major joints, such as the hip, the knee, or even in your foot or ankle. Um, spinal conditions are often very limiting for, for walking long distances. Um, there are also conditions that may impact your balance, uh, cause dizziness. And there are lots of modifications, though, for these conditions. Using a, a soft surface can help to cushion the joints. Um, another thing that you can do is make sure that you have places where you can sit and rest regularly, um, such as a mall indoors or an indoor track in a workout facility. Um, other things that you can do is make sure that you have very comfortable shoes that have arch supports and have proper stability that are actually designed for walking or running. And in some conditions, you may need an assistive device like a walker or a cane. Don't let that inhibit you from getting your physical activity um, through walking. It is important to do a light warm up before you walk to release some tension, to allow your body to move freely. You want to lightly stretch through your upper extremities, through your arms and shoulders and chest. Lightly stretching through your lower body, through your hamstrings and your calf is very important. And it's also important to do a very light spinal warm up before you walk. So why don't we just start with the upper body for your warm up. Let's just start with some shoulder circles. Let's do about th three in reverse. Okay, let's go in the opposite direction. Good. So let's start with some trunk rotations. Just twist through your upper body to the left and right. As far as you feel comfortable, you should have no pain in your spine. So what I want you to do is start with tucking your chin. Okay, perfect. Now rounding through your mid spine. Now let's gently round through your lower spine. You should feel a stretch throughout your entire spine. Okay, good. Now let's try to stretch your hamstrings. Now what you need to do is try to do the reverse and straighten your spine. Perfect, tuck your chin, perfect. Keep your knees gently straight. Now, do you feel the stretch through your hamstrings? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Now let's bend your knees and squeeze your glutes as you come back up to protect your spine on the way up. Now, as a physical therapist, I find it very rewarding to help patients reach their goals, physical activity goals in particular, um, whether they have a disability or whether they don't have a disability. Um, if they have a condition that may impact their ability to walk, Breaking down the reason that they're unable to do that is, is very satisfying and helping them get back to the road of life. Or even the, working with those people who can predict that they may have problems and, and helping them to prevent conditions that may impact them down the road and limit their physical ability. 